are you a boy or a man? There are brutal realities when it comes to evolving into a man, and age has nothing to do with it. It is hard to transition from a boy to a man, but modern society makes it a lot harder. Modern society tries to feminize boys from an early age. Perhaps you too have been brainwashed by society and are a man-child as a direct result of that. Maybe you even bought into the idea that men should be more feminine and masculinity is toxic. Think about this. Ever since you were a little boy, you have been told your masculine traits are inherently bad. Most, if not all, of your teachers were women. And if you did not behave like the girls in class, that means you were doing bad. As a boy, if you are competitive, seek challenges, and have a lot of energy, you get shamed and scolded for it. At the same time, in order for a man to conquer, provide, and protect, these traits are absolutely necessary. If you have been suppressing your natural desires ever since you can remember, the road to undoing the brainwashing will not be easy, but it will be worth it. More videos on this will be made in the future. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss them. Now, even if you do not fall for society's lies, that still isn't enough to turn you from a boy into a man. Girls become women by reaching physical maturity, but boys have to pass a test. After all, men carry the burden of performance. If you don't perform in any field of your life as a man, the world will treat you as a worthless, low-tier man. A woman can be beautiful, and the world will treat her like a diamond, as there is value in her beauty. For a man, this is not the case. You must put in the work and create your own value. This is the ruthless reality. However, you should see this as a good thing. It means no matter who you are, you can build yourself up to a high-value man. Take note of the men you truly respect in your life. What makes you respect them? Problem-solving skills. The ability to deal with adversity. Provisioning. Courage. Strength. Discipline. Or leadership. Whatever makes you respect them as a man has nothing to do with age. Let's discuss four crucial things that will turn boys into men. Number one, responsibility. Boys like to do whatever they want or feel like and often blame other people for the outcome in their lives. Instead of taking responsibility, they complain about problems and consider themselves a victim in situations. Men understand that there is always some ownership to take. Even if another person does you wrong, there is still ownership to take. For example, you might have chosen to ignore red flags. Nine out of ten times in life, we are not victims of circumstances, but of our own mind. By accepting your responsibilities, you take charge of your problems, and you take charge of your life. We are where we are in life not because of other people, but because of ourselves. Number two, doing instead of talking. We've all known the friend who talked a big game, always bragging about how many girls he slept with, how much money he's made, and his fighting skills. This guy had some beautiful stories to go along with the bragging. At the end of the day, it was all talk. To become a ladies' man, become financially free, or become a good fighter takes work. Boys pick the easy way to try and achieve the status they want, and they do so by bragging. This status is not real, and any real situation will always expose that. Men know talk is cheap, and that action speaks louder than words. Know when to keep your mouth shut, know when to put your head down and work in silence without breathing a single complaint. Men focus on doing instead of talking. Number three. This is a hard one for many men. Stop playing video games and stop fapping. Video games can be awesome. However, you must be aware that they are created purely on your innate desires as a man. 
Why do you think an absurd amount of boys and men are addicted to video games? Challenge, competition, status, conquest. The very basic of every selling video game is to play to man's human nature and desires. These achievements are fake, and if you lose yourself in video games, you dampen your ambition and life force in the real world. Another way of losing yourself in false reality is fapping to online content, fake conquest. What you are watching are other people. You haven't approached the opposite sex and neither are you performing in the act yourself. Be aware of this and the fact that a lot of men end up with erectile dysfunction as a side effect. Number four, control your emotions. Boys often do whatever they feel like. Men do what they need to do whether they feel like it or not. We live in a society where they try very hard to make men like women. Society often tells boys and men to express their feelings, listen to their feelings, and open up. The term toughen up or be a man is seen as toxic. However, this is where things take a dark turn. Men and women often express their emotions in different ways. When you tell a woman to open up and stop suppressing their emotions, they talk about their feelings and might cry. When you tell men to stop suppressing their emotions and listen to their feelings, they could become very violent. You might attack someone during a road rage because you are listening to your feelings instead of controlling them. Emotional control is one of the most fundamental pillars of masculinity. 99% of American school shooters came from a single mother household. Fathers enforce discipline and order in the household. With fatherlessness rising and society encouraging boys to just listen to their feelings, bad things can happen very quickly. This does not mean you keep everything bottled up as a man. If there is a serious issue, you might have to talk to your brothers or friends. Maybe you have to let it out in the gym. First, you have to detach from the situation and look at it objectively. More often than not, things are not as big of a deal as we make them out to be. The best men you will ever meet have control over their emotions. Emotions are not bad. Emotions used badly are bad. Many boys have started going to the gym and have built a fantastic strong physique because of anger. Many of them used to get bullied. This is an excellent example of emotional control and using it in a productive way. With this knowledge in mind, you will be shocked at how much potential you truly have as a man. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time.